Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Yes, you can make a little Christmas bonsai pot with lights and all, and your little stickers. Just something different to do. The lights are cheap. They run on a battery. It's a 72-hour battery. Let me put the lights on so we're not in the dark. If I can find them. There we go. And how I did the pot was just like this. I just glued all the lights in there so you got something to turn on at night when you find a nice tree to put in the pot. I got the battery down here, if you can see it, and I glued it in because the lights are waterproof except the battery casing. And I got the, uh, I don't know if you can see the, I turned it upside down so you can at least take the, the screws and change the battery when it's done and these batteries last 72 hours but that's something you can do they can make yourself a nice little Christmas pot so let's just get get this out of the way and let's get down to brass tacks as they say let me move the camera back or the tablet back there we go right now we got some crazy crazy weather Today is December 15th of 2021 at 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 16 degrees Celsius. And this is at 9 o'clock in the evening, everybody. So some really, really crazy weather. So deader than a doornail, Mingarelia. I had six of them. I gave three to my friend in his shop and his restaurant. And they're growing like crazy. Well, he's got a nice bright sunny window and I just got a east window in the basement. So I, both of these got the same water, same everything, but this one has vigor. I got to cut all the dead stuff off. And the other one looks like it's deader than a doornail. I don't know, but let's, let's strip all the foliage off and let's see what's going on. First, we'll take it out of the pot. I'll take the pot out. And I mean, whoa, do we have a lot of junk in there. And as you can see, and as I can see, there are roots here. Barely little roots growing. So what we gotta do is we gotta take all this dead foliage off. So what we're gonna do is just clip it off the best we can. I don't know if you can see it. Well, let's see what we can do with this. I have my, I still have my Mikus and Azus, so we're going to throw this around the root system here. And the roots still look alive. They got a nice, nice color to it, but all the foliage is dying off on this. So I don't know if it was stuck in full leaf and it was in the, uh, had a lot of vigor in the trunk and everything. But it has no roots, just a little bit developing. So let's get all this off the best we can. I got my ironwood uh, pruners. What's good about this? Squeeze it, and it opens. Look at that, how crazy that is. But that's good. So I'm just going to cut some of this dead branches off the best we can. Cut it close. Cut this back because I want to get some of this to grow and there is no green in this thing at all and these here that I'm cutting off so we'll cut off all the foliage we can cut off some of these other branches there's no green in them at all. But we'll see. I'm not going to give up on it because there's still some roots growing on it. Let's dump this out of the way. So I don't know. Sometimes when you get cuttings from the store, they look nice and healthy. But the root system isn't developed. They might sell them too soon. I don't know. So let's take this one back to right above a cutting there there might I don't know let's take this and scrape it 
and I gotta get used to the camera going this way so I can let you see and it's not totally dead but there is no green in it so I don't know let's see what happens let's cut it back to here we'll cut it this one back to here And this one to here just like that cut some of this old foliage off now we're gonna really really have to douse this with beneficial bacteria and I'm gonna use the uh, Mikus and Asus and then I'm gonna use the half vermiculite and half sifted perlite on this because I want these roots to develop and then maybe I'll throw some sphagnum moss in with the mix too. So let's see what's going on. Now you can see, okay, there we go. The trunk is still green on this cutting. And you can still see some, some life in there. So it wants to grow. It's green. There's still life in this, this baby. So let's, let's go and get this one bad piece off here just like that and we're going to put it in the same pot now what are we going to do for the bottom I got my screen here let me get my other scissors and just cut some screen for the bottom of the pot. I got it right next to me. Just like that. And then we're going to take our mix. Let's get it out. And we're going to take our ironwood shears. All you do is squeeze it, lock it. There you go, look at that. And if you want to use them, you go all the way to the back of the handle, click it, and it opens. Close it, and there you go. So, got that in. Let me get my mix like I had yesterday. With this light, I'm going to have to try something different for you. But that's our mix. I don't know, you can see it probably better in a pot. No, you can't. The light is terrible. Oh, well. You'll have to trust me on it, but I'll put it in like that so that you can see how nice it goes in. Nice and dusty. Whoa. Let's take some of that dust out of there. Yes, these roots are still there. They're still alive not moldy they're not black so it does want to grow and there is green in it green so let's put it in let me get some more in there before I do that I'm going to take some unmilled sphagnum moss also and put some in into the pot let's take this out and just jumble it in there mix it up real good because the moss will also help to develop roots too okay so we got it like that I'm gonna really really wet it and then put some more of our mix on there now we're gonna stick it right about there looks pretty good right in the middle of the pot and let me find my azus and now i'm gonna really really dust the root zone really really dust it we had a big glob on there but that's good because i want this to get stimulating of the roots the stimulation of the roots. There we go. I'm going to take our Mikus. 
put it in there and put it on the bottom where all our roots are put it in nice and safe <coughs> Now we'll take our vermiculite and perlite, put it in, we're going to put it all the way up to the depth of where it was buried at. There we go. So, maybe our amicus and asus will give it a chance to grow. We shall see. Now let's wet it. Now the other one will do it another day because I don't have a long run time on my video. I can't go over a half hour for some reason. It does not compute. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is just wet it. Take all the dust and the surface tension out so that when I take Mr. Elephant and water him in. There we go. Just like that. And then I'll get Mr. Elephant and give it the mix of good watering so we can stimulate the roots in there. We're going to water them just like that. So we're not going to give up on it. We're not going to give up. If you still got some green in you and you still got some roots growing, give it a shot. Don't give up. Don't throw it out. You never know. You never know how your little plant's going to take off. Let me dip and clip this one too and get some of this dead stuff off out of here. So no disease or nothing tries to get in there. And now, I don't know what I do with the other lipstick, but we still got some some frozen berry lipstick so we still got some look at that we still got a whole bunch so all i'm gonna do is dab the cut ends because i really don't want nothing going wrong here so if i accidentally spray the top i don't want nothing rotten so i'm sealing up all the holes there with the lipstick why lipstick lipstick is a natural wax women use it on their lips it keeps their lips moist So don't be afraid to use it. It's a natural wax. And gentlemen, if just be careful you don't get lipstick on you because then the rolling pin comes out when you get home. <laughs> we'll get knocked on the noggin. So there you go. Now we got a little bit down here where I can stick some more lipstick there and a little bit here. And some on these cuttings right here. And over here. They're small, so they don't really need it, but still. Now this one in the background, I'm going to have to take some lipstick off of here. Just like that, and just dab it in the back. And let's see if it'll grow. I don't know. They were both in the same spot. But like I said, it had all that vim and vigor in it when they stuck it but the roots really never took off so hopefully now with the mikus and the azus it'll it'll help it take off and remember don't give up on a plant if it looks dead give it a shot give it a try you got nothing to lose okay let me put the lipstick in there at least i got the gloves on it ain't gonna get all over me so we got that nice and packed in there we're gonna give it some more water from mr elephant because nothing came out just like that now we're going to give with the, the vermiculite it'll hold water and the uh, perlite will help it to have a good drainage too so that's something easy for you to try and make and you can see I don't know if you can see the water is starting to come out right now so let's give it a shot we still got a little life in the trunks and the branches and the trunks trying to develop some roots so I'll let you know we'll give it a couple of weeks and see what happens never give up and then our other mingorelia 
We're going to take all the dead stuff off. Like that. And then we're going to repot it. How much time do I got on the video? No, I don't have enough time on there to do it today. So we're going to have to do it another day after I after it uploads and everything else. And we can try planting it in the Christmas pot and see how it takes off. So thank you for coming to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. This is uh, the 15th. Not much more days till Christmas. It's going by fast. So you know what you do tonight. Make yourself a hot cup of tea. Uh, get your wife, grandma and grandpa sit down together. Uh, your aunts and uncles and all your loved ones sit down, relax, have your cup of tea, put, put on some old time Christmas carols or some old time music that you like and just sit back and relax and enjoy the days until the holidays are here because time goes by fast and this year really flew by so enjoy each other's company it's late it's right now it's almost uh well that clock's fast so it's, it's got to be at least about uh 9 30 so it's time to take a break i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea put on scrooge i like scrooge and the best one was with uh oh alistair sim he was the best Ebenezer Scrooge out. He was great. So you take care, everybody. Enjoy a cup of tea. Enjoy each other's company tonight. Turn the phone off. If it's important, they'll text you. Relax. Enjoy each other's company. It's late. Relax and enjoy the evening with each other. And don't forget, don't give up on your plants. They may look deader than a doornail, but if there's still some green in the trunks and in the branches, like here, Give it a shot. You got nothing to lose. Take care, everybody, and thank you for coming to Grown Clip Bonsai for Seniors.